If you have been diagnosed with DCIS, Hello. you may be wondering what those four letters mean. Hello. DCIS is an acronym, short for ductal carcinoma in situ. But what does that really mean? And do you really have cancer? You may hear it referred to as precancer because if left alone, sometime in the future, it may evolve into breast cancer. Take a deep breath. This is not a crisis. Take the time to learn about your treatment options and get a second opinion. This will help you make better decisions about which treatment is right for you. DCIS usually shows up as tiny clusters of white specks on a mammogram, referred to as microcalcifications. These clusters can suggest there are abnormal cells inside your breast duct. Let's be clear. With DCIS, the abnormal cells are inside your breast duct and have not yet gotten out. A DCIS diagnosis used to be quite rare. However, as more women are receiving routine mammograms, we are finding and diagnosing DCIS more frequently. You may be wondering why we treat DCIS at all if it's not considered cancer. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have a reliable way to figure out whose DCIS will become cancer and whose will not. Therefore, we treat everybody. Unlike invasive breast cancer, DCIS does not usually cause a lump. A radiologist will insert a wire or other marker in the area with DCIS so that the surgeon will know where to cut. You may have heard of people having a lumpectomy. DCIS surgery is actually called a wide excision, with the surgeon removing the area where the microcalcifications were seen. Your treatment options have typically included having a wide excision, having a wide excision followed by radiation, or having a mastectomy based on the extent of your disease. If your DCIS is hormone sensitive, your doctor may recommend that you also take a hormone blocking medication. Chemotherapy is not prescribed for DCIS. Be sure to carefully discuss your options with your doctor. There may be specific things about your diagnosis that make one option better for you than another. DCIS is not life threatening. You don't have to rush into treatment just because your doctor, friend, or anyone else says you should. It's your breast and your life. Take the time to get a second opinion to help you decide what's best for you. There are six to eight ducts in your breast, but DCIS usually occurs in only one of the ducts in only one breast. Sometimes the duct with DCIS will occupy a large area of the breast, which can mean having a mastectomy may be recommended to ensure that all of the DCIS is removed. It may seem counterintuitive, but most of the time, a mastectomy of one or both breasts does not reduce your risk of recurrence. Talk to your doctor about your situation. This is a highly personal choice. Because the majority of women with untreated DCIS will not go on to develop invasive breast cancer, there is growing interest in simply monitoring women with this diagnosis. Clinical trials are available to women to see if watchful waiting may be a safe alternative. Search online for trials or discuss with your physician if a trial is right for you. This is a very active area of research and we will keep you updated as we learn more. Inpatient Science is a video series for you, your family and friends to better understand breast cancer and the choices that you have to make. If you want to find out more information or to support the foundation, go to drsusanloveresearch.org and help us end breast cancer once and for all.